Hi everybody on YouTube. How are you today? Well, it's a glorious day here in Ocala. Humidity's low, light breeze, kind of partially sunny, so it's not too hot. So what in the world am I doing? Well, I'm out here on my newly decorated lanai. And it's been mostly a storage room since I moved in. And then I had some temporary furniture here while I had a family member staying with me. Oops, let me fix this. This is a beautiful necklace that doesn't want to stay put. Here, let me show you. Nope, didn't want to go that way either. Here, let's see if we can't do that. There. Looks nice, but doesn't stay fastened. There. So, um, as my usual, I went on Facebook Marketplace looking for furniture and accessories. And I do redesign, uh, interior redesign. I think I might have mentioned that before. What does that mean? Well, you just go into someone's home and you empty the room totally out that you want to redo. And then you take a trip all around the house and you pull what might work in that room that you just emptied out from all over the house. In other words, you shop the house. So I did some of that here with the artwork that I have and the accessories that I had. But what I did do is I drove all around Ocala the other day and found this wicker love seat with two matching chairs. Let's see if I can get this around without making too much noise. And then what I did is I brought all the orchids inside and they're out here on the patio. And I couldn't have timed it better because they are all in bloom or starting to bloom. And the same thing happened last year. I don't know if you remember when we went out on my patio. So I've got a white one right there. And, and then in this corner that's right behind here, it's just full of white and pink. So I decided I'd do my hair curly today because I didn't feel like standing there forever with a blow dryer blowing out all the kinky curls. So what am I wearing? You probably saw this last year if you remember. It's just a summery green top which I thought would look perfect out here in this room which is a combination of off-white, emerald green, and blue. I'll swing this around here. And you can see with my green lamp over here. And then those prints I had before. So what did I have the lamp? So did I have that green leaf pillow? And so I decided I thought I'd match the room. And I'm just wearing some very simple linen pants. Just kind of a casual pant, which is very much in style this year. And then these are woven sandals to have that weave around the toe and then further up the heel. And it's cut out on the side. Here, let me turn around, you can see. So, very summery and seasonal. But now in Florida, it's starting to feel like it normally would. So what have I been up to? This. Now, one thing that I will show you next time for this wall over here, I'll turn it back again. I used my Buddha artwork and I love it, but I'm going to give it to my son for his new home. And what I am gonna place over it is a canvas print 
of a Louisiana blue heron. And it goes this way, so it's gonna cover that whole wall. And it's the blue that's in here, and it's the green in that bayou setting. I think it's gonna be just great. One of the things that I've had to deal with here, um, this is a community, an over 55 community. Yeah, I am, you know that. And it was developed in 1951 and it's grown now over the years into almost 10,000 people. And no, it's not the villages. And they have very strict guidelines about what you can do on the outside of your house. Number one, no one owns the land that their house sits on. No one owns the land that all these shopping centers that he developed along the way. He has acres and acres and acres of land. And now his son is in control of it. And so I have this lovely patio right outside this door, right behind the camera. I can have three pots of plants on that big patio. You remember the old house? It looked like a jungle. We'll forget that. I am not allowed to do that here. And then over here, it's kind of out of sight. This way, you can catch my little bird bath and bird feeder. Well, I can't have both. I can have the bird feeder or I can have the bird bath. Uh, <laughs> so I'm in the process of giving away my plants to my son because he has a new home in here, fairly close by, that has a beautiful lanai off the back. And what I never did know about him, that he has a green thumb like his mother. So he's coming to take the offending plants that are out here on the patio. I'm over the quota. <laughs> never mind that this patio is enclosed with five foot tall hedges and you can't see anything that's out here on this patio from the road. And never mind that you walk down the street and people have 10, 12 pots and all kinds of junk on their front lawns, but they've already been here and they've already been approved. So when you're new, you're fair game. Hey, life's not fair. But it's a beautiful, beautiful place that I wanna stay for a long, long time. So I'm gonna abide by the rules and enjoy it while I can. So let me walk back again and turn around for you. Very kind of conservative outfit except for these. And I'm going out tonight with a girlfriend and we're gonna go over to our local Mexican restaurant for happy hour and mariachi. And I won't be able to wear this top. Nope. <laughs> it's too risque for this neighborhood. So what's a girl gonna do? Go back to my old aunt. I am not complaining. It's just the reality of different kinds of communities and cultures that we live in. And I have to adapt or I can't live here. Is it a little difficult at times? Yes. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. So one of the real blessings is the rec centers that we have and we have yoga classes all during the day, every day at both rec centers and I've been able to partake in that and it's really been so beneficial for me, for my strength, for my balance, for everything. So I feel terrific. I'm very glad to be here with you and next week I will bring you something from the cocktail series. I'm going to kind of go out of my way and see if I can't find something a very exotic. But if you have any suggestions, please feel free to tell me. I'm going to put a little description of the outfit below and what I did in this room. I hope you have a wonderful weekend planned upcoming. Mother's Day is coming soon, so don't forget those wonderful ladies in your life. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. If you want to be notified, hit the bell. And if you have something that you'd like to say, please do put something in the comments below. I do read them all. 
way back when in the beginning I did not now I do so I do pay attention to what you like and what you don't like blessings to you this week namaste my friends